hi guys it's um it's 10 minutes to 19 hours and i am in a forest in norway so i just want to take a, a walk and discover what happens in this forest because it really looks so interesting and amazing to walk in here but also for a few months i have lived in norway i have discovered that nature is something very appealing but to, to norwegians and foreigners because if you look at this forest for instance take, take a look at those two at these two roots one at the right and one at the left <laughs> it shocks you that even in the forest in such a forest you find a lot of roots very small roots you would actually wonder whether they they are animals that uh, use these roots or they are people who come in here in this forest but okay let me consider to take the right one so moving in here of course you will quite often listen to the to the birds twittering and of course it has been winter and it's just getting done so you will see that the leaves are starting actually to to come again these plants were dry but you see that the leaves are very fresh but also the tree species are so unique like I've never seen these tree species they are very unique and very interesting also they are very unique and very interesting but putting that aside I'm just still wondering people use these roots to go where and how deep can I go I can even consider now to walk into the shrubs and and see what exactly happens because I see something like um, it's a signal I don't know something tied on uh, on the tree but uh, I have to get close to see exactly what it is but um, I don't know I think you can see that this is a sign that might be I don't know what it means you can you can see that I'm just using my walking stick to touch it and uh, if I can come close, might be. I don't know whether <laughs> things have to just be strong. I don't know what is inside, but I think it's just open. <laughs> yeah. So there are quite many roots here. Maybe I can just move around. I can just move around, but um, I'm also shocked that these trees are really. There are no signs that might be there are lumbering activities that are happening in the forest yeah the trees look really mature as they look take a look they really look very mature now i'm also trying to to become an wedge i don't know to, to walk into these woods and discover what is happening but i'm alone i don't know and it's though it seems early because of course the sunshine we still have sunshine and it's just a few minutes to 19 so I just want to see see something white in color in the middle of this rock but I want to see what is it what's happening you see that but this is in the middle of the forest where you don't even expect maybe someone to come but it shocks you that actually this is a, this is a jerrican and there are things over here which of course I just don't want to tamper with I, I don't know what they are so I just won't touch them but uh, I'll just move on and on and climb it's scary guys it's but maybe just have to it's hilly as I go on to climb but yeah today I want to walk this forest at least like two kilometers try to know what's happening discover new things and and blending into the Norwegian way of life yeah so here I meet a place I reach at a place where 
I see as if people come and camp and make fire and maybe prepare something to eat or something. I'm just, I don't want to speculate information, but uh, because this looks like charcoal, like this is a burnt oak. And uh, if you look at these stones and um, this on my left, it shows that maybe, and these logs, it shows that maybe people cooked here and they camped here and they had a meal maybe but also it's um somewhat huge circle where maybe people can but look at that green in um, in my background look at that green here. it's really so interesting and very amazing yeah nature can really be so interesting and amazing oh my god look at this beautiful dare i wish you could look at it this has just crossed, maybe we'll meet it. Yeah. Just have to continue and go on and on. But now then I discover these roots are not only used by the people who come and uh, move around these forests, but also by the animals. Because I've just seen a deer that has just crossed in front here. Just have to talk slowly so that maybe if there are many, we could be able to see them but i also don't want to interrupt their life of course they they're supposed to live here let me just try to see where it has run to what i could be able to find it can i can i trace it around oh my god no it has gone down very far i could i cannot see it But this is the beauty of forestry here in Nauru. By the way, when I was in high school, back in my home country, in Uganda, I used to study about forestry in Nauru. I had, had a very good teacher of geography who was called um, Yasin Kakande. He used to teach me geography and he used to talk about forestry in Nauru and uh, activities happening. But uh, yeah. Well, I also remember he, he talked about um, species of trees, like maybe, yeah, he talked about red cedar, if I can really recall, he talked about red cedar, he used to talk about, um, uh, oh my god, my geography is running away. <laughs> okay, let's leave that story. But why are these trees marked? You see, this is marked with red and it's a very big tree in circumference you see and this is marked with um is it ocean blue is it it is blue yeah but also you see that road i don't know where it's going and it's in the middle of the forest and it looks a little bit you know wide enough maybe uh people use it and this one is marked with red so I don't know what exactly happens here. So I can go on and on and since I don't want to take this route direct to see where it's going. So I have to go to the forest. I have to continue climbing and, and see what takes place in here. If I don't meet foxes that will, <laughs> that will attack me, I don't know. Yeah, but I will go on and on. Hmm. Yeah. But also something I've discovered is that no is very rocky in nature. The stones are everywhere. The stones are everywhere. And I'm just look at this stone. I'm just touching. You'll see that um, if I can just pan a little bit to the ground, you see that even land is is full of see that it's full of stones they, they the landscape is made of this rocky and and just it is shocking that the trees are actually growing on top of these stones because where i am now i'm on a high i'm on a rise ground and if you look down where i'm coming from you see that i'm actually climbing into the forest 
but there are stones down and I'm just shocked that trees are growing on stones so it's a rocky place very rocky place look at this very beautiful tree very beautiful but in my mind I'm asking myself what if I meet something very what if I meet an animal I don't know what if I meet a snake I don't know, but I'm just moving. Guys, he's so shocking. Oh my God, oh my God. Look at these trees. I hope you will be able to, or you are able to listen to the voices of birds in these trees. Yeah, but I will go on. I will not fear because um, it's my day to discover. Wow, I'm soon to introduce to you something so different. I'm trying to, I'm looking at the other side. Oh my God, you see what I'm talking about? For instance, look at these rocks and look at that tree and look at the trees on the top of the rocks. Oh my god. No, it's very rocky and the trees grow on the rocks. This is so interesting. It's a new discovery. Very interesting and a new discovery indeed. Yeah, but I won't go up here, but um, something very special to look at here. Yes. Now take a look. All along I have... Um, I've been wondering, moving around the Norwegian capital, Oslo, I look at different paintings everywhere. Norwegian people have a history of and culture of writing and making art. So this is a stone. It's a very big rock in the middle of this forest. And there are words that are written there. And you see these paintings, for instance, you see that the crew I don't know what it means, but you see how big and huge the stone is. But also there is something very different here. It's, um, it's a box and it's wrapped and um, it reads um, projects get that stored. So, but I cannot read Norwegian. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I just know how to introduce myself and say something small. Maybe also a request for food. That's a topic for another day. I think uh, we just have to continue. Oh my God, this this is so scary. I thought a snake is just around me. But why write on these stones? What is the message? You and I might not, might not tell. But there could be a reason why. But why not take a look at the leaves? The trees are very tall. They are really very tall. They are really very tall. And they are really very tall. I want to emphasize. Take a look at that. You see the height? Oh my god. But let's go on. But don't you think I've really forgotten the way that I took to this forest? I must have forgotten. I don't know. But I'll just walk back and... And see, then I have to go on and on. I have to go on and on. Oh yeah. The roots can never end. You will find, look at that. This is going to the, this is going to the left. This is just going to, just for front where I'm going. And this is turning to the right. So what should I take? But I will just continue since I'm just going in. But as I told you, people use these roots. I just discovered because I can see that people even light up fire and maybe roast things or, or cook. I don't know. But also the fact that I saw an animal, I saw a deer just crossing. That shows that people pass around here. But then look, a road in the middle of the forest, all over the sudden. I can now see a road. 
Oh yeah. Oh my god. I can see the road now. Yeah. So now I don't know whether I go back or I use this road. And where does it go? That's another question. But the beauty of the shrubs, once again, they are very beautiful. Not just that. Of course, the winter is just done. Just the last month, but but we're in spring now. That's why you see maybe the leaves are very fresh and so luxuriant. So luxuriant indeed. But of course, um, you see the the trees before they mature up like you see this is a this is a very young tree and it's trying to grow yeah but let's see this future this is something you know forests also maybe they have um they could be somehow um they could depict something i don't know in the norwegian culture or something maybe something to research next time why is it that a lot of things in the forest we have seen paintings, we have seen uh, things that, what is this now? People wrap a lot of things in the forest. I just, if I can just be close and you look at this, what is this? I can't really know. But let me touch it, you never know, using my stick and so that you can look. But there is nothing inside, it's just open. And if you are keen enough, you just realize that this looks exactly like the first one we saw down before it came up because if you look down it is just hollow and if you look up it is the same and it has a string over there and it is just swinging up and it's tied on this tree then what does it signify you and i may not tell but it could be a very big signal but also you see that the way this this sign looks the same like what we saw down because it is just a this um this branch of a tree just used to suspend this oh my god yeah there is there is something append append omret i don't know what does this mean i know append means maybe open but omret i don't know what it means i will just put it there and you look at it but also you see this is just being put in the middle and also suspended the other side I may not really explain what that means, but um, you and I are just discovering this, maybe for the first time, or you are a Norwegian and you're watching this uh, walk with me and you could know exactly what is happening. This is really amazing, guys. Look at the trees. Very beautiful. Very tall. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> So, will I go to the road? I don't think I will go to the road because my overall mission has been just to canvas this forest and, and know what's happening. So, I will just turn back and take take another route and see where it heads instead of going to the road. Besides, I don't know where the road goes. So, I'll just continue to, yeah, to this place. But you see the way the, the, the roots the roots are also the roots are also something very significant to note that even in the forest they're trying you know to interlink to each other they're just crossing each other and passing passing through each other so you see that's what they told you the stones there's stones everywhere and trees grow on top of these stones that's so so confusing how can a tree grow on a stone like this rocky it's very hard but you see the trees are growing on them oh my goodness okay let's just go on and on and see where does this go where does this go oh my god yes i'm just around and now i'm just walking near the road but i'm across yeah Let's go on and on and on. Oh my god. This looks so nice place. But the trees are also really... You see these trees? They're really very strong. And very tall. 
extremely tall. If you can look at those trees in my background, extremely tall. But I can see a house. Oof. Oh my gosh, I can see a house. Oh my god, this now leads me to a home of someone. I have seen a home. Oh my god. Guys, I'm seeing a home and this is in the middle of the forest. So what do I do? Continue and... No. I cannot go ahead. I just have to just see a home in my background there. You see a home. Yeah. This is a home man. Oh yeah, finally I'm out of the forest. And I can't see a home man someone riding over there that's the road so should i go to i don't know <laughs> because now it's like as if i'm i'm just but what's this again i don't know what does this signify but i keep meeting the same thing over and over again now look at this and it is the same, same kind, natural thing, like the same bag suspended. It is open at the top and it is open at the bottom. So I don't know which is which, but I think I will stop here. I will just stop here. Maybe I can go to the road and and show you where this road heads then i can just say i have taken this walk with you and have taken you th through forests in norway and you see how the trees look like i hope you enjoy the walk as you watch this video and you'll be remembering that in norway there are different routes in the forests and there are also different maybe messages depicted by different things that are made. For instance, you saw those bags hanging and the way they they are placed there. But also you saw that there are fire spots. People put fire, set up fire maybe. I don't know. I didn't find someone cooking or doing something. But let's end here now. Just look at the beauty of these trees. Very tall, extremely tall, but so beautiful. Oh my god, I cannot just pan and take my camera to the last, last, last tip. Yeah, I can do that. Very interesting. Very interesting. But the road over there goes and it separates too. It separates the forest. See, and there is electricity. I think because, of course, there are homes here and it's trying to connect to the homes. And on my right, the road goes that side i don't know where it goes but i end here for today thank you for taking a walk with me enjoy the video goodbye